Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be telling you the most um, simple way on a Mac uh, to download all mods and uh, client mods for your Minecraft. Um, this way works with the Windows operating system also and uh, as well as Linux. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, download MC Patcher. Um, then whatever mod you want, I have here Zombie Mod Pack because it's popular. And then you're going to get Mod Loader. So what you do is open up MC Patcher, and it should automatically find your uh, the source of your Minecraft folder. Mine this links to it. That's what it's looking at. Um. What you're going to do is, you'll see I have some here, uh, you're going to click the plus and drag that over to the side and just wait there. Okay, so once you have that little plus opened up, um, find the mod that you want to install. So here's Zombie Mod Pack. Uh, with Zombie Mod Pack, um, it's a little bit different. You have to open up this folder and take the classes folder. I'm gonna rename this to Zombie just so I can verify what it is. Compress it. There's Zombie. I'll move that out to my desktop now. Okay. I can move this up and go to my desktop wherever that may be um, find zombie and open it up okay there you go uh, there's zombie and then what you want to do is get mod loader get all these classes here I'll just highlight them all here and then compress it all compresses that and I'll rename this to MCP and take that and drag it on to the desktop <sighs> okay so click the plus again go to MCP open that up. okay look all that Alright, so you'll see I have Zombie and MCP here, but I also already have a uh, mod loader. I don't know why I named that MCP. I was thinking MC Patcher, but that's what we're in. Um, so I have mod loader and zombie mod already here. So in order to just show you that, I'm going to remove these. Wait a second, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. There we go, okay. Subtract it. Um, I recommend usually uh, putting in the mod loader first, then clicking patch, and then putting in your mods. Uh, just because uh, sometimes it prevents bugs. I've tried it before, not necessarily proven, but it's just sometimes. So you're going to want to click patch. I already have it patched in. Um, but once you've patched zombie mod or whatever, if you have to patch the classes but the config files are still there, you're going to want to go find your uh, your Minecraft folder. I have mine linked to it, but if you don't, you can go to... Um, your home root folder on a, on a Mac and go to library application support Minecraft and there it is uh, and what you'll go to is you'll make a little folder here named mods all lowercase like that open it up uh, create another one with like the name of 
the mod that you're using. So like this is zombie, so you'll type in zombie like that. Um, and you'll copy in all these configuration files and configure it how you like it. So there, that's one you would configure for your fly mod and all that. Um, then you can close that out and make sure that entire time you had Minecraft closed. Um, I can delete these. Alright, uh, well, you would need to like keep those just in case. Um, and I'll remove all that. Then you can just open it up. Okay. See, I'm on 1.7. Uh, point three, 1.7, 1.3. Um, you also see by doing mod loader, you can get HD texture packs. So I'll join in right here. That would be unfortunate if it didn't let me join. That would be very unfortunate. Okay. There we go. Um, so this is Minecraft serverless, but um, that's for a different video. You can see I'm flying now over in the top left corner over here. See it says flying. It's because I configured it to say that. Um, and you can click J to run around or well that's what I set mine up to do and just do what you want fly around um, okay <laughs> obviously I'm lagging but uh, you get the point I was flying around everything was cool um, you can do that with any mod that you want as long as your computer can like handle it uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry that wasn't a very good video. I, I know it wasn't. Um, see you next time.